TSB Talk Sport Business here on Talk at 100.3. Great to have your company. 0586861003 is the telephone number if you want to join Neil or myself, Kitch, this afternoon. And, and you probably don't know this about me, Neil. We've worked together for a while. Uh, but every time I turn on the microphone, mm-hmm. just before I do, I say to myself, come on, you rooster. I just got to try and, you know, warm myself up and just try and get myself going. And the reason I do that is because uh, one of Australia's uh, best cricketers, uh, Marcus Stoinis, has a habit of doing that. Now he's here in the UAE uh, where he's playing uh, with the Sharjah Warriors and he's, uh, well, he's only just landed and he's uh, made it, made the time to join us via Zoom. Uh, Marcus, thank you very much for joining us. No, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> hey, Roosters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so t- t- tell us about this. You know, K- Kitch has been, you know, telling us about uh, the rooster thing. Tell us, h- how does it all happen? What do you tell, you know, tell yourself when you're going out to bat or probably when you've just missed an opportunity to hit that big one? <laughs> um, no, nah, there's a little bit of mayo there. It's not, it's not an everyday sort of thing. But, um, yeah, you know how it is. Sometimes, sometimes you're not feeling your confident self and sometimes... Uh, there's no one else saying good things about you, so you have to you have to talk nicely to yourself. So that's um, yeah, I'm very conscious of that. You're here in the UAE to take part with the DP World ILT20. Uh, you're playing with the Sharjah Warriors, but of course, uh, the UAE must have a lot of great memories for you, considering uh, the role uh, you had with the Australian side that won the World Cup sort of 12, 15 months ago. Yeah, it is. It is nice to be back here. There are great memories. Um, going to be playing at the same grounds that we uh, we played the World Cup on and all that sort of stuff. So um, it's exciting to be here, exciting to be back. Um, and yeah, the, the memories have come back and seeing the golf courses and all that sort of stuff as well is nice. <laughs> now, which, which golf course did you perform the best on? Oh, we played some, we played the earth course, which was really nice. Um, and uh, we played heaps. I, we played way too much golf that I could, uh, then we've got time here to talk about. But yeah, the golf is good. <laughs> I know, it's good. The, the UAE, yeah. you come here thinking it's just a shopping centre in the desert and then you realise, no, there's actually quite a few things to do here to get by. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's great to have you here. You know, Neil's worked in, uh, in commentary and coaching for a long time in cricket. And, uh, you know, we, we've sort of looked at your career and, and, and we're amazed by it. How, how hard is it to just come into not only a team halfway through a season, but a brand new franchise halfway through a season? Yeah, it is one of the challenges. It is, um, but I mean, as as an experienced player now, it's my job to come in and 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 bring the attitude that I bring to everywhere and and compete and to get to know the players and and hopefully put some performances on to to get us a few wins and, and get us into the finals. But um, yeah, it, it, when you break it down, it doesn't really change too much. You bring your attitude and you and you try to include as many people as you can and you and you build an atmosphere in a group. You know, cr- cricket has changed in all these years from, from the time when we used to watch, uh, you know, uh, now c- countries going out and playing uh, an ODI series or a test series. Then it went on to be in a special edition of the T20 series. Now, with franchise leagues, literally there are players who are living out of a suitcase. One of your teammates, Tim David, travels the world literally on a backpack. Do, do you think this could be the future of cricket where, you know, countries would be playing lesser amount of cricket but there'll be a lot of franchise cricket that uh, cricketers would be focusing on yeah I think so I think um, I think the time's nearly already here at the moment when, when you see how much is popping up and, and how many opportunities there are there's there's so many tournaments around the world every country has their own tournament um, and they're getting better and better and stronger and stronger players are getting better and being more adaptive and, and new skills are coming out um, so yeah, I think it is heading that way. Um, like you said, Timmy David, I, I don't know how many games he played last year, but I think it was something ridiculous. Like it was over, over 120, I, I think. So I know, when you think about that, it's it's one every three days nearly. So, um, yeah, it is busy, um, but it's a great opportunity and a great time to be a cricketer. Well, one of the best things that I think about playing in a league like the UAE, uh, the three grounds are all pretty close together. There's not too much travelling uh, like you do in Australia where you're constantly at airports and travelling through, which makes it quite attractive to come here. Uh, what is it about the grounds and the pitches that make you want to come back here and play, Marnus, that, that suit your game? Um, yeah, look, I think, like you said, the, the fact that all the pitches and grounds are quite close does make it a lot easier. We've been travelling for the big bash around, around Australia. Um, but yeah, then coming here, 
the boundaries are pretty short, which is always great. <laughs> and the, and the, That's the answer I wanted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the wickets are usually pretty good, even though we had a team four for 17 last night. But yeah. the wickets are nice. Um, the boundaries are short. It makes it a, a good player to be good place to be a batter. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, th- this place we've seen uh, so many uh, fantastic cricket matches over the years. Beat, beat at Sharjah, your home ground uh, for for the for the franchise. Uh, but tell me something, you know, in this format, in this franchise league, the, the the big difference is that there are a bunch of international players and two domestic players, right? Two UA players, nine international players, as compared to any other leagues in the world. Uh, does it make any difference for a franchise or a player? to come in and see that oh it's it's a different setup altogether um yeah look it does but i think the other thing uh in the position i'm in at the moment is um after playing for so long there's so many players and familiar faces that you know that right. you played with even coaching staff um i've met a lot of the coaching staff before and and played under some of the coaching staff as well so um yeah it it is it is a challenge but it's also one of the beauties of these competitions is you're, you're meeting so many new people. You're, you're making, you know, one of the beauties of cricket right now is there's friends out there that you don't even know yet. So sure. you, you, you meet these people, you share different interactions, you learn a bit about cricket from different countries. And um, it's been one of the lucky things that, that has happened to me through my career. No, that's right. You know, in fact, uh, I was watching the game yesterday and uh, it's a shame that, you know, after a fab start that you got, uh, uh, what, 17 for four in five overs, uh, the, the rain gods uh, thought that, oh, we, we'll, we'll show some mercy on the Delhi boys, uh, the Dubai boys. But uh, how good is Junaid Siddiqui? You know, the, the UAE lad, I've worked with him and, and you know, he, he's come on like literally sharp. And yesterday I was watching him play. And I was like, wow. But you know, watching him up close in the same side, what do you think of him? Well, I have heard about him because the boy, the coaching staff were just talking about him and how how well he's been doing and mm-hmm. and how much he's improved even in, in this tournament. So um, he wasn't at training today, and I only got in last night, so I haven't actually haven't seen him yet. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard good things, and it's. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing it again tomorrow. Yeah, it's uh, going to be uh, a great, great couple of games, uh, especially for the Sharjah Warriors. Uh, you're back in action tomorrow night, taking on the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders, which is a, a bit of a debate for Neil and myself because I think that the Knight Riders were named after a TV show about a talking <laughs> car. Uh, however, uh, Neil <laughs> happens to think uh, that it's to do with the, what? Uh, Shah Rukh Khan. The Shah Rukh Khan and the, yeah. the. Do you have an opinion on this? Because we're always debating this topic. I'm I'm pretty sure it's it's uh it's not the talking car. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> well, we, we 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 had away Shah on the show yesterday, the former England international. He played for the Knight Riders, and he thought it was the talking car. I mean, so see, the, the only <laughs> only thing is he probably didn't go and speak to Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, maybe right? that was probably uh, why. Shah Rukh Khan. He's he's known as King of Bollywood, and because of all of that, you know, the the Knight Riders have come into play, and and it's just just amazing to see you know how teams have shaved up. But uh, it, it's it's see it's it's all the fun. It's all the entertainment that you guys put you know put in for us uh, to to uh, you know clap and praise no thank you guys thank you no we appreciate your time landing last night and joining us uh, one last question uh, you're famous for your coffee have you brought your coffee roaster and everything or, or have you found a great place to get coffee no I haven't I've actually just got a cold brew sitting there and I had an acai bowl this afternoon so that's what I've got um, and the Nespresso machines in there at the hotel but um, I'm going to be out and about drinking my coffee this trip. Beautiful. Marcus Stornis, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck for this first season with the Sharjah Warriors. Thank you, guys. Great, great to speak to you. So there he is, uh, just coming to uh, on via Zoom. Got in last night, making himself available, and uh, it's because he's a team man through and through. And let's see how they go, the Sharjah Warriors, tomorrow night against the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. All right, the, the way he's looking, I mean, it's not looking like, you know, he's jet-lagged or any such issues. I'm sure he's, he'll be up and ready to, uh, you know, show his guns and uh, show some power, firepower. And if you do want to go see the Sharjah Warriors, we've got four more tickets. These can be yours, 0586861003. What's the truth? a false question this hour, Neil? Sharjah War is sitting at number four on the table. Is yeah. it true or false? Send us through your answer. 05